Let's do a quick lesson on pressure first. If you take a balloon and fill it with water and then push it underwater, it will stay the same size. This is because liquids are not compressible. It's like a person pushing against a brick wall. It pushes back just as hard. The pressure is the same inside and outside the balloon. Now, if you take the balloon, if filled with air, and push it underwater, it shrinks. It's like a person pressing against a spring. The harder they push, the more it compresses, until the pressures equalize. A flashlight is like a balloon where if you take it underwater with any air in it, the pressures want to equalize. You will not shrink the aluminum housing, but the seals on the lens will be pushed in by the difference in pressure until something fails. Now, if we could only fill the flashlight with a liquid, it would balance pressure on the lens and the seals. Now honestly, I had my doubts that this would work at all. Just because it's so simple, somebody should have thought of this before me. So the idea for this flashlight came by combining two memories. The first memory was watching The Abyss. Now James Cameron won't return my call, so instead of showing a clip from his movie, what I'm going to do is use my daughter's artist rendition. In it, they have an oxygenated liquid for breathing at extreme depths underwater. Because as we talked about already, air is compressible and the liquid is not. The second idea came from people who overclock their computers. Now on the internet, there's lots of information about people who make their computers run faster, but they also run hotter. So they have to keep them cool. Now one trick they've come up with is taking an aquarium, putting the computer inside the aquarium, and filling it up with mineral oil. Now mineral oil will not conduct electricity, so it doesn't short out any of the electronics, and it won't corrode, so it doesn't wreck anything either. But it keeps everything nice and cool. So I got three of these flashlights in a package for $9.99 at Home Depot. All it is is uh, aluminum housing, takes uh, three AAA batteries, uh, and it's got LEDs. LEDs are important because if you used a light bulb, the light bulb has space inside it that's filled with gas. It's actually argon gas. It used to be vacuums, which probably would have been even worse but you have to use an LED because it's solid. So as we take it apart here, you can see the most important part is that there are some rubber seals. There has to be some sort of seal to hold the oil in. Disassemble the flashlight. Drill two small holes through the circuit board to provide passage to the front LED area. Be careful not to damage the copper traces. Also, be careful not to drill through the front lens. They paid a few bucks for this bottle of mineral oil. Since it is a laxative, we can safely say it's non-toxic. Just don't fill the flashlight and lick your fingers right before you put your wetsuit on. Pour some oil into the head of the flashlight. You'll notice the oil is too thick to flow through. Run your drill in reverse on one of the holes and it will turn into a crude pump. You'll see bubbles coming out the other hole. When bubbles stop coming out, it's full. Just be careful to hold it so you don't trap any air inside. Start to reassemble the light while it's submerged in the mineral oil. Have paper towels handy and don't be afraid to get your hands inside. Make sure to get all the air bubbles out. When screwing on the head of the flashlight, press down on the rubber seal over the switch or it'll start to bulge out as the threads get tighter. Dave tested the lights out in a sink. After 12 hours, no problem, but will they handle the pressures of a deep dive? Only one way to find out. 
Introducing, in her debut mechanical mashup appearance, Dave's wife, Jennifer. Wait a minute, did Dave just trick us into watching his vacation movies? God. Success! So some of you might be saying that the flashlight's a little small, not really useful. Really this was just a proof of concept and this can be scaled up to any size. You can do a larger flashlight, all you need is a seal that will keep the oil in and it will keep the pressure out. Now my father-in-law had the idea of using a watch and all you need is a waterproof watch or even water resistant. Again, keeping the oil in keeps the pressure out. You can make a dive watch for really cheap as well. If you can think of something else that you could take underwater, post it on our Facebook page. It would be pretty awesome to expand this even more.